right guys hi uh welcome to my channel and yes that was just my car farting at me it's uh it's always funny to uh, play with those um, gadgets that tesla has to offer um today's video i'm going to show you the uh, service screen and a lot of uh groups on social media or um, in the internet people ask about how do i check on the, my battery health of my tesla uh, what can i do in the service screen how do i get into it and sometimes people tell sometimes they don't and i'm gonna just tell you in a couple easy steps how to uh, proceed and what to do and how you can do it and i'm not gonna go and uh, change or do anything that's on your own responsibility and uh, I'm just gonna show you what it is and how you get there. So first is you go on the service screen. Tap here, tap service, and uh, go up. And no, that was wrong, go on the software screen. And then when you tap that long enough, this box comes up here. Please enter access code. All right, and you type in service. All right, well, do you gonna do that? you hit ok see what it says service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair the stationary vehicle are you sure you want to enable service mode as a caution warning too and uh, no i'm not a service personnel or anything but yes i'm sure enable did you hear that the um heat immediately turns off or in the summer i guess the ac turns off we got that red uh, frame around the screen so that tells you you are in service mode very important this button here exit service mode always remember where that is so you can get out so what what can we do here first of all it shows you a win shows you your um, kilometers or your miles of your car it tells you the software you have uh, the hardware you can go into your service alerts you can reinstall your software here too you can burnish your brakes there's some settings a touch check and i don't want to do the touch check but there is a touch check here for your screen um, let's do the first one here driver assist cameras there's a cool one it shows you if your cameras are are working you know they all are in uh, operation uh, yeah they all operate right so you see they are green I, I assume that green means that they work you know sets in use seven six seven that goes between seven and six that's the GPS it means the satellites that are in use right now now it, it varies between seven and six in my car six it goes orange which is not as good but i'm in a garage you know and um it's a pretty big garage so it might not connect all the time but most times it's at seven see so now we balance out that's no it goes between six and seven uh, gps works as well so we're good there um let's see what we else with sensors shows us our sensors um, it shows you the location of the GPS antenna, um, autopilot, let's see, I can see there's uh, six sensors at the rear, six at the front, and they're all running and available. And now the satellite's in use, it says seven. Okay, weird. All right, go out of there. Let's see what else we have. Connectivity, okay. Um, our connectivity Wi-Fi is is on um, Tesla connection is there a link state is green uh, the cell connection is there as well and um, everything looks good here the modem is there and you can even ping the modem all right so to see if you get a signal back from the modem I'm not gonna do that either but I know what it means and how it works now this one here high voltage system and that one isn't an interesting one a lot of people talk about this you can check your battery you can see the battery in the middle and it says the state is green uh the charge is 84.2 percent uh pyrofuse is green everything else is good the um, heat pump compressor works as well 
and uh, there's your health test and I'm gonna tell you right now I can't do the health test because the battery charge has to be below 50% because what the car does it it take Go, it takes the battery down to I think almost 0% or maybe 0% and then it fills them back up so that it can calculate um, what battery life you have all right but how you do that you push on health test and then they want you to fully hold the um, hold up on the turnstock plus the brake plus the key for 10 seconds and I'm not gonna do it because I know I can't right now it will not let me in because my battery is at 84% um, another thing is it can take up to 24 hours to do this battery health test and I gotta drive tomorrow so I don't want to do that right now but there you go that's where you can check your battery and the result will get will be shown right here all right let's see what else we got here the low voltage power distribution shows you your battery um the voltage of the battery 15.51 volt right now it shows you the current uh 0 0.60 between 60 and 12 amps right now um pcs not sure what that is you know honestly i don't really know what all this means so <laughs> Don't, don't, don't um, blame me for saying it wrong or not knowing. I really don't know. And you can reset a lot of stuff here. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Oh, come on. There you go. You can reset a lot of stuff here. And please do not push those buttons unless you know what you're doing. I wouldn't do it either. Uh, home link. I, I don't have home link. You know, it's to open your garage. Uh, so the car opens your garage when you uh, approach it let's see this one here thermal actions uh oh okay um coolant not ready for fill or drain refrigerant not ready for recharge or reclaim okay you can um drain your coolant here stop thermal fill drain oh look at this test hvac performance test thermal performance run coolant pumps there's some interesting stuff here you know i would never do it right now though i'm because i don't want to break anything i hear that the car makes funny sounds uh so sensors and valves okay it shows you um the sensors and valves five bar on each side 17 degrees and the other one is 18 degrees celsius um yeah, sub cool. It says five bar, twenty degrees Celsius. Interesting, as in Celsius. The heat pump is right now not available because the car is not running. The compressor is idling at zero RPMs. Sounds about right. Refrigerant system. Look at that. That's kind of cool. It tells you what the refrigerant system does right now. Uh, you can see where the um, where the coolant goes and the hell how it circles around and if the valves are open or or closed right now okay like there's your chiller and it says rejects heat from coolant that screen keeps coming that's annoying um yeah there's the cabin condenser it, it's pretty pretty interesting here and you can st start your thermal fill drain and it probably shows you right there on that graph what it's doing at that moment and look at that we are now at 19 degrees so it does work this is pretty cool stuff not many cars have that much to show uh, let's click on this shock here uh chassis alignment and tires okay here's your alignment you can check your alignment and it says 174 psi whatever that is and when i go on the steering wheel i can set it to the middle where it's green bright green so that's right in the middle of the um, uh, tires uh, right in the middle right now so you can clear your offset you can calibrate your steering column if you want and your tires you can reset the tire values I mean that's something probably well, we can do without uh, without being scared to break anything you know um, yeah cool then the windows there's a door where it says windows okay it shows you your windows if they're calibrated and i see that all of them are calibrated 
and the switch state is unpressed. Like if you have a switch that's broken and the window is, is crazy in crazy mode, you can see if the switch is maybe pressed the whole time because it's broken. I'm talking about that switch there on the door. So good stuff. It's, um, it says enable rear defrost and I can see that my rear defrost is uh, available. It works. I think that's about it. So we go back on our first screen here. I'm not going to do anything else with this. Uh, I do think if you want to drive the car like this, it will only drive to a certain uh, speed, you know, only to move it around in a shop. But I'm not crazy to try that and uh, risk to do any damage. So if you want to play around with this, please don't push any buttons that you shouldn't. Um, unless you know what you're doing or you are working for Tesla or for a service shop. Um, checking the battery health is probably okay to try. I'm not trying it because I told you my battery is too full. I'm gonna try that another time when the battery is already almost empty and um, when I have a lot of time. I don't want to be uh, waiting 24 hours and get to the car and then I can't drive to work and um, I have to take one of my other cars which is fine but you know I just don't I don't like things planned out all right um hope this was a good video I hope someone um someone learned something from this uh, if you have a Tesla please try it see if it works and don't forget to exit with this exit service mode hold it You can hear the heat turn back on, right? And here we are on the map. And man, it zoomed out quite a bit. I can see Idaho, Nevada, Colorado. Look at that. We can scroll and scroll and scroll. And we're here in the garage, so it's loading a little slow. Normally, Tesla is really, really fast with the map. Oh, I went a little bit too far. There's Mexico City here. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, let's see if the satellite picture works. Yeah, satellite picture was great. There's Cuba um, Pretty cool system cool stuff here um, in your Tesla, so Look at that. We are in in Africa now yeah, in Europe Pretty cool stuff anyways, I hope you enjoyed this so if you do please subscribe and like my videos um, give me some support for the Tesla videos. I enjoy the car. I'm not someone that tells people to drive an EV. No, would never do that. I'm not someone to tell people that EVs are bad. No, because I love them. Um, <clears throat> but I also love my other cars. I love any cars that is fun. I like fun cars. That's what I like and that's what I talk about and that's the videos I produce about fun cars. So, support my channel. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet and uh, wish you a good night. It's getting late. So have a good night. Talk to you soon